Hey everybody, Boomer1 back here with you with another Minecraft tutorial video. Now, I'm sure all of you have seen the sorting system that exists out there. Ethos, uh, about four years ago, came up with this and it was brilliant uh, in what he did with it. Impulse SV did a video on it a couple years ago as well, and a lot of other people have put together videos on the sorting system itself, but not a lot of people have gone too depth or too much in depth into the whys and how this thing works. So if you're an advanced, experienced redstone nerd, you've been playing Minecraft for a long time, you understand how this works. You may or may not pick up on anything new. Hopefully, if not, it's all a good reminder. But I'm probably speaking more to those who are either new to Minecraft, Redstone, or you've never used a sorting system and you're looking to develop something. So that's what we're going to get into. And we're going to use my example here on one of the servers I play on of my AFK fish farm. You'll notice on top uh, the item frames, there's 11 different items that I sort out specifically. And then I have five overflow chests on the left. You'll notice an Nautilus shell, so that shows you we are in 1.13. And I'll actually bring it up if you'd like to see it. You can actually see it in 113 too. However, this should work in any version of Minecraft, no matter what you're in, whether it's 1.8 or 1.9, 110, and so on. Let's kind of take a look at the system from the backside here. Just to kind of show you, this is what we're all used to seeing, right? Starting from some sort of uh, storage or, or input line, you have a line of hoppers going in one direction. You have a hopper catching items that has been set up to uh, sort items out. You have a comparator reading the redstone signal strength out of that hopper. And then finally, you have one more hopper below that to take the items to your chest or if you're using an auto shulker uh, storage system, however you're doing it, that last uh, hopper on the bottom is what's going to move those items. Setting this up. As far as uh, this middle row of hoppers, I want to start here by talking about how this actually has to be set up. To get the comparator to read, it doesn't matter which direction the hopper faces, but the hopper can only face one of two ways to keep the system working properly. It cannot be faced into another hopper, nor can it be pointed straight down, which leaves you two places to face the hopper. It can either point towards the comparator, like the one you're currently seeing, or can point away from it. If it were to have going into another hopper, that's going to cause the system to break. So the easiest, fastest way to do this, uh, the most consistent way to keep problems from occurring, simply point this middle row of hoppers directly into that comparator. Now, as far as what's actually in here, in this case, I'm sorting out raw cot, as you can see, and I'm using stone bricks as my items in slots two through five to only allow the raw cod to come through on the AFK fish farm. Traditionally, I actually will take the items in slots two through five, put them on an anvil, and, and name them something. Maybe I'll call them, I don't know, Diet Coke or my dog's name or something. But what that does is it prevents anything else other than the items in slot one from falling through. If by some chance a stone bricks or a stack of stone bricks were to get into the system, they would fall into this sorting system and eventually cause it to break. And so you want to make sure, like I said, the best way to do it is just name it something other than what it is. And then the first slot will be the item that you're going to use to catch because as the system works, the hopper will force the items to drain starting in slot one working to the right. And that's why you put that item that you want to catch in slot one. Otherwise, this system, again, will break and will not work. What we're looking for for this system, because it does have overflow protection inside of this hopper, by only using one item in slots two through five, and a stack of 64, stackable items up to 64, which is what we have in here, the, the greatest redstone signal in this case that I could get would be 64 items in slot one, one in slots two through five would be 68 items. That's the highest you can have to get a redstone signal of three. If you were to have a uh, very fast farm that can put items into the hopper faster than you can sort it through, this is going to keep it from breaking. However, if I have more than one item in slots two through five, if I do get 64 in this first slot, that will break the system. So as the comparator reads the signal strength coming out of the hopper and explain its signal strength, Hopper has, as you can see, five slots. Each slot represents 20% of the potential redstone signal 
of the hopper. If all five slots were filled up with stackable items of 64 or of 16, if that's like, for example, ender pearls, the comparator would read a signal strength of 15 if all five slots are truly stacked up to the maximum. So what we're looking for is to trigger the hopper to get that magical 20% full to where the redstone comparator pulls a signal of three. At 45 items, which you currently see right now, it pulls a signal of two. Once one more raw cod were to fall into here, it hits a signal strength of three, causing that redstone dust to become lit. What will happen down below here, you're going to see that there's a redstone comparator. That comparator leads into this block. When that comparator becomes powered, this torch becomes unpowered, which depowers this block, which will now allow items to drain out of that hopper. Once the comparator detects a signal strength of less than three, that third redstone dust is no longer powered. The repeater shuts off. The torch comes back on, powering this block. The reason we power this block is to stop items from actually flowing into this hopper. This is the third one from top to bottom. By having that block touching the hopper powered, that will stop any items from flowing through it with one exception. If our sorting hopper above it were to be aimed down instead of into the comparator, then regardless of how many hoppers or redstone torches or, or blocks you use to stop the items from flowing through, it will flow through if it goes straight down. So again, as that redstone signal strength hits three, shuts off, releases these items down in the chest, and they start to fill up working from top to bottom. We're going to flip over to single player world. So All right, everybody, so let's get into some of the nitty gritty on how these sorting systems actually work. So first of all, to make sure we understand how the signal strength works, when you have between one and 22 items in a hopper, for example, we have 22, we have a maximum signal strength of one. Comparative will read that as a, what percentage full of the hopper is that particular item's makeup? So a hopper has the potential to give off when completely full with either five stacks of 16 stackable or five stacks of 64 stackable, the maximum strength you can give off is 15. Once we've hit 23 to 45 items, we get a signal strength of two. So for example, I have 45 stone in here. Between 46 to 68, we get a signal strength of three, and that's the maximum strength we can have in order for this system to work. If I were to place one more stone in there, you'll see now we have a signal strength of four, and that's gonna cause the system to break. So the maximum we want to see in there is 68. So if you look at the standard system here, let's kind of load this up. Let's put in some stone, some puzzle, oak logs, uh, polished andesite. All right. This very first one, we've got set up with four birch planks and one stone. We're going to want to stack a 64 through. As that starts to fill up, as soon as that reaches that signal strength of three, which is 46 items, so we have four between the single blocks of birch, we'll have 42 at stone, that'll give us 46, the signal strength of three, that third dust will be powered, which will power that repeater, which will shut off the torch, depowering that block. And I think, why is that such a big issue? Why do I need to depower this block? Because that torch, right now, if I come back on F3, if you look on the right side, you can see it are enabled, it's red, it's false. That has to be enabled in order for the items to flow through. So by powering that block, it actually locks that hopper and keeps those items coming through, unless the hopper were pointed straight down in which those items can flow right out. So as I add another chest, the items will start to flow. So there we go. And you're gonna see the stone items start to fill up. When that hits 42, that's when those items will start to fall through. So now you can see we've got a signal strength of two. As soon as it hits 42, that third dust will power on, which will ignite the repeater, which will cause that torch to go on and off, allowing items to sort through. We'll keep 41 items in there when it's done. So the next one that falls through, and it goes right down. So well, I've got the pods one set up a little bit differently. If we were to set this up like this, and no birch planks called subscribe were ever to go through the system, would this eventually break? It's going to depend. For example, Podzel, you probably don't have an automatic farm for that. 
but stuff, for example, a witch farm, which can accumulates large amounts of uh, redstone dust and glowstone dust. If your farm can produce items faster than the sorting system can pull them out, it is possible for the hopper to actually overfill. And you think, why is that such a big deal? Well, again, if I only have one of each, whoops. Oh, I've got those other items going through. The items that you can't catch, as you can see, are going through the system right now. So if I have a total of 68, the strength can't get past three from the comparator. But if I were to dump a whole ton of pods all in there, you'll now see that that fourth dust to the left became powered on for a little while. What that's done is that's actually triggered the system, and you can see the stone drop to 17. Now, in this case, will it still work? Yeah, I can run more stone through it, and it will eventually build back up and catch. But if I run puzzle through more often than I do stone, guess what's going to happen to the sorting system? Keep an eye on it. That signal strength is still at four. You see these items break down. And now your sorting system is broken. So when you walk in on a server next time, you're going to see all the items that reach this until that chest completely fills up until that hopper completely fills up, and until that hopper completely fills up, you won't even know it's broken unless you open that chest to look. Eventually, you're going to see that all these things are full, and that comparator gets here, gets above three, as it gets to four and five and six and so on. Items to the left and to the right of this song will continue to break. This is tileable and scalable as wide as you want it. I've seen Iskall85 on a Hermitcraft server. He set up one, I think that was 50 wide. I think Mumbo has also set up some pretty wide ones. And the problem is if you don't set these up right by having one item in each of the first four slots and that magical stackable 64 item there, if you set it up any other way, you have more than one in slots two through five that will eventually break which will break all the sorters to the left and right. And then you know what kind of time you have to go through to waste that out. So you say, well, can I use 64 instead of those? Can I use the 16 stackable items in a sorter? Let's kind of look at this. So 16 stackables, you can use one to five. So could I in place use four ender pearls? Well, potentially I could. Now it's going to change how far that signal strength has to go. If you notice, I already have three on at two. So it's going to be somewhere between 16 and 32. Could that eventually break? Yes, because I can get more in 64. And if you notice, now I have four lights on. So until that were to drain out, this will continuously break. So unfortunately, you cannot use 16 stackables in the right unless you actually set these up as they're not directly next to each other. Take all those out. Now, if you have 6 to 11 items in there, you get a strength of 2. 17, sorry, 12 to 17, you get a 3. And 18 to, and I did 20 here, for example, is a 4. So just to kind of show you that even with only one of each, 16 stackable in slots 2 through 5 can and will break this system. But what if I want to sort out ender pearls? What if that's what I want to catch? By all means, you can still do it. Remember, a stackable 16 is the same as a stackable 64. So if I have 16 under pearls, that gives off the exact same signal strength as a stack of 64 stone wood. In this case, because a 16 is four times stronger in filling up the redstone capacity signal, I guess, of a hopper, a stack of 10 is the same thing as 40 stone blocks. So I would have a signal strength of 44 items in here, which would give me that signal strength of two. One more ender pearl gets in there. That gives me a signal strength of three because there's now 48 items. 11 pearls times four is 44, plus the four birch planks gives me 48. So just to stop this from messing up here, what if I put in a full thing of ender pearls? I do not get a signal strength of three, and the ender pearls will find their way through just fine. Okay, what if I put them up in here? Paul, show me how it works. Here we go. Ready? As you can see, it continues to go through without a problem. So can you sort 16s? Absolutely. Ender pearls or any other items that goes in a stack of 16 like eggs definitely will work. Can you sort out items that are non-stackable? Unfortunately, no. The only source them I've ever seen that ever does that was for sorting up music desks using a uh, jukebox and a uh, pulse delay to 
uh, actually sort those out. But like um, Enchanted Books, those weapons and tools, unfortunately, uh, unless someone's got a link out there to something, I've never seen one that actually works the way they claim it or even works, period. If you've got a link to a uh, sorting system that works, for example, with 20 different Enchanted Books, I'd love to know. But I'm hopefully answered all your questions and explained how this works and why it's so important that you set it up the way you do. Should you have any further questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. If you liked the video, I'd really like to know that so I can continue to make more content that's beneficial for you in your Minecraft world. And if you really thought this was helpful, please subscribe. Let your friends know. I thank you for your time. This is Boomer. We'll see you later.